this is a jig that I built. Like this, you can put this on the face. So I put that little face piece there. So it lays like that. And then you drill the holes that you want. Um, or you can put it up against the fascia board like that. What I'm going to do is mark where this is going to be here. I'm going to drill the holes here for this one. And I'm going to turn it over and drill those holes. I'm going to drill with this bit. This bit I took some electrical tape and I marked it. How I did that was like this. I took my peg and I said, okay, my peg wants to sit about right here. This is going to be the peg that holds the adjustable shelf. It's going to be four per shelf. And what I did is I took this drill bit, I put it in my jig down to the desired depth. You can see that that's as far into the board as I want to go. So what I did is I took that tape and I put it there. So now when I drill down, I stop at that tape mark. To make sure your holes are the same on both sides and not off, so your shelf's not off, I take this square, go down, and I want that, sh that hole an eighth of an inch on either side of six inches. See? So this first hole is going to be an eighth of an inch off on either side of six inches. The center of the hole will be right at six inches. I'm going to have that right there, and I'm going to go ahead and drill this. You can see these holes are every inch. We're not going to need an inch of adjustability, so I'm going to go two inches. So I'm going to start at this one and go ahead. Try to hide in plain sight. pieces so they'll fit in perfect but you'll notice it's, uh, it's kind of hard to put those in so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take about an eighth of an inch off of this so I went ahead and cut it on the table saw try it for fit it's perfect so I now have all three shelf pieces now what I'm going to do is like this like these vertical and this transverse piece um, I'm going to rip these for the fronts of the shelves as well. This will keep the shelves from drooping. These are one buys, so they prop they might not droop, but it's A, a good finished look, and B, it will assure that it's not gonna happen. Okay, so I cut these transverse pieces for the fascia. What I wanna do is I wanna have a little bit of a gap between the vertical piece and this horizontal piece so that it's easy to lift the shelf in and out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it where I want it and then I'm going to mark it. Okay, so I just got back from cutting it. I'm going to put it on and I'm going to test it. No problem. Well, those fascias are going to be cut at an angle just to help, help sneak the shelves in when you adjust them. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a 45 on them, but I don't want to start that 45 until I get past this shelf because I don't think it'll look be a very good finished look. So all I'm going to do is I just put this down here, mark there, mark on both sides. My saw set at 45 degrees.
shells. Next time I see you, we'll go out the top and we'll come out the back.